I'm Scott Stein. Well, not the real Scott Stein. I mean, real, but uh, I'm controlling a persona Scott Stein. So I'm really here inside an Apple Vision Pro, but what you're seeing is a 3D scan of myself. So this is actual me, not a virtual persona avatar. But unless you get a chance to use the Vision Pro, which is a $3,500 piece of equipment, you're not gonna get to experience that cool, pseudo-realistic, surprisingly convincing representation of myself that to me is the most interesting thing about Apple's headset right now. At the same time, I'm thinking about this whole world of AI deepfakes. I use the Sora app and I scan my face, kind of reminds me of scanning a persona, except there I'm creating virtual Scott Steins that are doing magic tricks with the New York Jets. And that world of AI is coming so fast where it feels like identity is fragmenting and splitting. It, Apple right now is not exploring any of that, but they're aware that companies are, including on iPhones, using different tools. But personas right now is something that's looking at a continuation of your existing identity and really controlling that one-to-one -one as a mapping, which I do appreciate. And I'm wondering as we go forward, how that plays out with smart glasses where we will be talking to a combination of real people, virtual people, telepresence people, and AI in all sorts of strange permutations over the years to come.